He's telling me to stop. Okay, we are live. Okay, good evening, everyone, to the March 25th, 2020 Conservation Commission meeting of the town of North Andover. Um, we are holding this meeting by way of conference call pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law and the governor's March 15th, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in any one place. Um, so the um, commission will be uh, going through the agenda and we actually do not have any public hearings this evening scheduled, um, but we do have other non-public hearing business that we'll be discussing. Uh, um, and in the future, should we have public hearings in this format, um, the people at home who, who are listening to the audio will be able to email me directly, and I will then be able to read their comments as they come in live. Uh, so that sort of sets the platform of, you know, how we're conducting the meeting this evening. Um, so let's start by taking a roll call attendance. So this is Amy Master. I'm the conservation administrator for the town of North Andover. Okay, I'm, I'm Louis Napoli, the chairman of the Conservation Commission. Okay. Oh, Albert Manzi, vice chairman. Joe Lynch. Yes, John Maben. John Maben. Deb? Yeah. Yes. Deb yeah. James Bond, oh. License to Kill. Uh, okay. We have um, Sean, Sean McDonald. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Hopefully you guys heard that. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you, Sean. Good. Good. Okay. Yep. All right, and um, we have uh, Brian Boyle, who is the applicant for the extension request for Hillside Road. Yes. Okay, we have Mike Howard, who is representing the applicant for the Certificate of Compliance for 1600 Oxford Street. Correct, I'm on the phone, Amy. Okay, and we have Dave Lester, who is representative for Alcon Bay Communities which the commission will be uh, voting on that order of conditions for. Hi, Amy, thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right. Okay, so um, I guess we'll, since we, we're not in front of a flag, we won't uh, bother doing the Pledge of Allegiance. We do all pledge our, our allegiance to this flag. Um, we don't have of minutes ready for you for approval, so that will have to be for the next meeting, hopefully. Okay. Hey, and Amy, then, one quick question. Uh, Amy, one, other than the people that said yay on the roll call, is there anybody else on the line? No, yeah. not Look, applicants, representatives, uh, Sean, are, are on the line. Yeah. We yeah. Had they all said yay. Applicant. Is there anybody anybody else that, other than who's spoken so far that's on the line other than the folks helping us produce this? Yep. Right, Amy, thanks. Amy, quick question. from Lou Napoli again. Uh, Deb is not at the meeting also? Deb is here. Oh, Deb is here. I didn't hear, I didn't hear her on the yeah. roll call. Okay. I yeah, came so on before you, Lou. Wow. Yeah. You wow. were late. She, <laughs> She's back. <laughs> so every all of the commission members are on with us except Doug. Doug Salt couldn't make it. Um, and so Mike Howard, Brian Boyle, David Gillespie. So that's who we okay. have. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so the first item on the agenda is a request for an extension for 24216. 76 Hillside Road, um, also known as uh, Rio 3 Chestnut. Um, this is the second extension that um, 
second and final extension that this order is, is eligible for. Um, currently, the site is in compliance. The, uh, the required uh, field stone wall is installed. Wetland markers are installed and the wetland flagging is in place. Um, the house was demoed um, back in May of 2016, I believe. Correct. Uh, and now, and now uh, the applicant is looking to um, sell the property, but just keep the order alive. So um, I have no issues, and I believe that the commission could see its way to grant the one-year extension. Okay, uh, Amy, this is Lou Napoli again. I would, uh, I'm suggesting that we question the audits as we go along. We usually have uh, Jack first, then Joe, then Al, yes. then myself, which I won't, Deb, and then and then uh, Sean. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Uh, Jack, do you have any questions? I have no questions, Lou. Thank you. Okay. Joe, do you have any questions? No questions. Uh, Al? Oh, sir, I'm all set with this request. Okay. Deb? No questions. Uh, Sean? No questions. Uh, motion? So move. Deb felt of it. Uh, Joe Lynch, I think it's it. Jo all right. Great. Yep. We have a we have a seconded by Joe. Is that correct? Yep. Sure. Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Opposed. And that that's the unanimous decision, um, Amy. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. No Brian. I'll, I'll, thank you. Good night. I'll let you enjoy the rest of your meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. It's a fall. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All righty. So the next item on the agenda is a request for a certificate of compliance. Uh, and that is uh, DEP file 242-1352. Um, this particular order is for 1,600 odds good speed and uh, it governed certain ongoing maintenance activities with stormwater management facilities and vegetation management practices at the site. Um, it was issued in 2006. 2006. And has, yep, and it has since expired. Um, there, so the commission will be doing a recent order of conditions for the Amazon project. All of those conditions in this most recent order now supersede any um, former orders or um, ongoing conditions in any of those certificates of compliance. And this was the one remaining order that was outstanding. Uh, so they're looking to close it up. And Mike, Mike Howard is with us if you have any questions. Okay. We, don't, we, don't, we don't want to hear from him anyway. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we, we, this order, to remind the, to, to get the memory of the commissioners, we had proved that we were going to get rid of the old orders because of the new ones are going to incorporate the old orders. And uh, so this, this is a kind of a moot uh, order to get, to get rid of. So that's, I just want to let you know. Uh, Jack, do you have any questions? I have no questions, Lou. Thank you. Okay, Joe. I, I have one question, Mike. Is um the new order issued to the overall project? Does that include areas that are not covered under this order? You're looking for uh, certification on? Because I thought the front part of the project was still obligated to carry certain things out. Uh, it is, but even that, Joe, has been completely superseded by the new order that covers everything on the site now. The, the order that was recently issued by the Commission for the new development includes an operations and maintenance plan that identifies each of the different landowners. So even that's been replaced by this. 
Um, okay, thank you. That, that's, that's, that was my recollection. They wanted you to clarify. Thank you. I'm all set. All right. Al? I have no questions and no objection. Okay. Deb? No questions. Sean? Uh, no questions. Okay. Motion? Motion that we issue a certificate of compliance for 242-1352. Uh, for 1600 Osgood Street. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so that's oh. Joe motion, dead second, unanimous. Yes. yes. Great. M Mr. Chair, can I ask one just follow up question that just quickly, any of you guys haven't thought about this yet, but how are you proposing sure. to get the actual paperwork out the door? Uh, oh, that's, that, that's Amy's department. Yeah. Um, so that's a good question, and um, I will need a little time to gather signatures okay. with our state order, so perhaps um, some sort of a waiver, you know, to give me some time to do that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, obviously my client clients would, would, would work with the town during this time period, but we, we get it. I, I was just asking relative to the context of when the new owner is going to close on the property and i'll firm up that date with you amy offline and just make sure i coordinate okay. with you okay great amy, thank you amy you might want to yeah. check with the town council i i yeah. bet with all of this remote meeting capability i bet you have remote signature authorization whether the town clerk has to certify it or whatever but i bet I, we can I, do that I, I agree there's got to be electronic signature provision somewhere all right all right, I'll, I'll follow up with you, um, Amy, in the next week or something. You come up for air and see where, where you guys stand with that. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, okay. thank you. Thanks, thank you guys, much. for taking this on the agenda tonight. It was time sensitive, so we really appreciate it. Hope you guys stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy birthday, Mike. Thank you. Happy Al. birthday. Yeah, happy, <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy birthday, Bye, guys. <laughs> Almost. I'll see you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You never know when you're going to get a chance to get get one in, so you got to take a shot when you can. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. Right. All righty. So moving on to the notices of intent. Um, 800 Massachusetts Avenue uh, has requested a continuance to the April 8th meeting. We do not have a DC file number yet, and um, we are waiting on plan revisions uh, for. The watering area and a tracking pad. So move. So, yeah, okay. Back now, back. Al? Yes, Al moved okay. it. And Joe, that's that's second. Second. Joe, I'm sorry. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oppo opposed? And that's unanimous, Amy. Great, okay. Uh, the next one is a new notice of intent for 1160 and 1116. Great Pond Road, Brook School. Um, so we received a notice of intent. We're opening the hearing and um, asking that the commission uh, hold no discussion and continue till time to be determined um, until the state of emergency has been lifted and we can reconvene in person. So. Okay. So I move that we've uh, deemed the, the opening red. And having having done that, I move that we continue to the next meeting until the emergency is lifted. Okay. Second. Let's, okay, Deb, second. Uh, all those there say aye. 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 Opposed? And that's unanimous, Amy. Great. All right. Okay. So we have... Um, Two four two one seven eight one uh Osgood Street Route one twenty five. This is a new notice content filed by um the North Andover DPW for sidewalk extension. Um and it's the same thing for um opening the hearing but for immediately continuing it to a time to be determined until this uh state of emergency has been lifted. So we need, we need Amy, where's the location? This is Joe. Uh, it's mm, roughly between Great Pond Road 
And what's your point, I think? It's already existing. Isn't some of it that has been done in front of Prince properties? Uh, that's why I'm that's why I'm asking now, uh, uh, Louis. If it's in the existing right away, we may be able to allow that work to move forward without continuing. Yeah, I, 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 great point, Road. Well, trying to, what, yeah. great so point, I'm trying Treadwell, like Treadwell's a butcher boy heading up towards the whole world, right? Well, uh, I mean, abutters are, you know, I mean, I think we should just continue. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, because I, 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 there's some, there's some information I know about it that I just don't wait until uh, we move okay. forward on this. Thank you. Okay. okay. Okay, Thanks. motion motion to continue. Made by Joe. All right. Second. Any a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Opposed, and that's unanimous. Oh, that's unanimous, Amy. Okay, unanimous. Okay. All righty. Okay, so we have um enforcement orders, violations. Um, this is 242-1765-2051-2053 Salem Street. Um, we have asked that they continue again until the state of emergency has been lifted and we can meet in person. They, Amy, they that's the driveway? Uh, that's the driveway? No, no the, tree, the tree cutting. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. that's, oh you mean the land clearing? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Motion continue. I look for one. So moved. Second. Joe. Yes. All, right. all, those, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oppo opposed. And that's unanimous, Mimi. Okay. Great. Uh, the next. Enforcement order is uh, 1474 Street Extension. Um, I had actually um, wrote them a letter asking that they appear at the July 22nd uh, meeting. Um, and so I think I'd ask you guys to continue to the July 22nd. So moved. Okay. Deb. Second. Joe. Uh, Joe, second. Yep. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that's unanimous. Amy? Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty. So the next we have, um, we closed the hearing uh, for 633 turn by, Turnpike Street, 2421774 at our March 11th meeting, and I have drafted a decision for you to consider. So I'll give you time to pull it up. Yeah, Amy, I reviewed it, and I reviewed the comments that were made by you and Lou uh, subsequent okay. to that, and I have no questions beyond that. Okay, okay great. That was Jack or Joe? That was Joe. That was. That was Joe. All right. So, Jack, did you have any questions on it? Um, oh, yeah. I guess my One. only question, like my, my question, is that we're are we going to continue this? Twelve ten Osgood. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. I skipped over that. What's that? Thank you. I'm so sorry. You're right. We're on uh, six thirty three Turnpike, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, doing I, Turnpike. I okay. Skipped over, I skipped over the amendment for um, 1210 Osgood. The what, hearing. I, I, and I didn't mean okay, to. I, okay, because I have to accuse myself of that. Okay. So, so, so do you want to so finish I, the business on 633 Turnpike? Do you want yeah. to finish that one first? Let's, let's finish that one. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. Turnpike Street. All right. Okay, back right. to so Joe had no questions. Okay. Joe. Jack has no questions. All right, Joe. Jack has no questions either. All right, L. Uh, no questions on six thirty three. No questions. Deb. Deb. Yes, Amy. Wanted to yep. know 
on uh, number 59 with the rain garden. Yeah. Do, do uh, you said something about no snow, you know, stock piling. Do we need to have a sign or anything around there? That's a good point, Deb. I think I think we should include the requirement to install um, two signs in front of the um, the rain garden, indicating no snow stockpiling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel better about that. Yeah. Good catch. Good catch, Meg. All, good all point, set, Deb. Man. Are you all set, Deb? I, oh, yes, I am all set. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Well, you know, Lou, once again, Deb stole my thunder, so no, I'm all set. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. If there's only any more questions on the thing, I look for a motion. I move that we issue the order conditions as amended. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? And that's unanimous, Amy. Okay. Thank you. Okay, do you want to swing back to 1210 Osgood? Can... All right, I'll just sit and listen. All right, so... so um, at... Do we want now. to or do we have to? <laughs> <laughs> we should. So, Amy, Amy, with regards to 1210, I don't have anything in front of me um, on that. Nor should you. Um, okay. So this is the continued hearing for the amendment to the order of conditions 2421692. Okay. Um, so they're working on some materials for us, and we have asked if they continue until such time that the state of emergency has been lifted and we can in person again. In the interim, the, mon the monitoring and, and test remains intact as, as previously agreed. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Yes. I have no I have no questions or objections if that's the case. Okay. I have no questions. Joe. Jack has no questions, no questions. either. No. I'm all set as well. This is Sean. Sean, you're Val. What's that? I. You you have to you have to uh, make the motion because uh, motion. No, I'll, I'll make I'll make the motion. It's Joe. Uh, I move that we continue this discussion until such time as the emergency is lifted. Second. Okay. Okay. Motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, just a little discussion on that point. Um, so, but I mean, in the interim, if something comes up on that site and we want to discuss it, we should still uh, provide ourselves with that opportunity. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, Al, yes. uh, through, Al, through, through you, Al, uh, Sean, so we still have the enforcement orders and the original order conditions are all in place. So anything that comes up falls under those existing orders. And yep. this new one was to all look to consolidate those into a single document. So I, I agree with your concern, but I think it's already in place. Am I right, Amy? Okay. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. okay. So just as lo just long as the record is clear that although we are continuing the matter, our rights of enforcement, etc., uh, aren't impeded at all by that uh, continuance. Good Agreed. Point. We're, we're not. The record should reflect that we're not waiving any rights or, or, or lifting any lifting any enforcement actions. Right. Exactly. Uh, understood. Great. Great. Okay. Any any further discussion? So we had a motion and second. That was discussion, right? Exactly. Al. Go ahead. I had motion a second. I went to discussion. Is there any other discussion? Okay, it doesn't sound like there is. So looking for uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? And that appears unanimous from here. Great. Thank you, Al. You got the gravel back there, Mr. Chairman. Wow. You have to hit me in the head with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a beer can. <laughs> Uh, no, I have a beer can. <laughs> Not from Foster Street, it was, but I don't know where Lou is. <laughs> I'm in I'm in Florida. <laughs> yeah, no, I know that. I know. I just, no, we, know that. we just don't have the GPS isn't giving us a clear signal right now. <laughs> I, I get everything demagnetized. You can't find me. Yeah, you got your aluminum <laughs> hat on, right? You got the, you got the aluminum hat on, so we can find you. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty. So the next item is uh, a draft order of conditions for Four High Street Avalon Bay Communities two four two one seven six zero. So I'll give you time to pull that up. Yep. So, Amy, I had a chance to read, this is Joe, I had a chance to review that, and I reviewed the comments that you and Lou had, and I got a question, not so much as concern, that the front of our order condition says that we don't grant any rights beyond our you know, title or, or whatnot, you know, than those that already exist. But there was a comment about easements and cross easements and responsibilities for easement. Uh, for maintenance, that was with the existing landowner, or was that with the the abutting landowner? Um, I think I borrowed that from the planning board's decision, and I believe it's a mechanism to make sure that, that we have something on record that documents. Um, Responsibilities. Right, but but from the current mill owner and not the abutters at the condo association who are talking about the oh. gas main and that stuff. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I okay. From the eye. That. Yeah. Yeah. Putting it in context that way, I, it makes sense. But I I just want to make sure we weren't extending something to the condo guys that the that they weren't entitled to. No, I think it really meant for between RCG and Avalon. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I had no other questions. All right. I'll. All right. Um, uh, 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 Amy Lou Napoli, Chairman. Uh, I have a question for Joe. Uh, I, you, you read my comments. I, 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 I made an issue of the test. <laughs> And with some chambers off of the slum water management, <clears throat> they're, yep. they're telling us the silty loom, which I've never heard of. Um, I personally think it's fly ash, um, it, and they <laughs> want to use it. And they want to use it on the site, and I'm telling them no. I want it to haul off the site. Uh, and, and, and the fact that we had troubles with a, a previous uh, applicant on material that was used that shouldn't have. Um, I, I, I don't think fly ash is a is a sustainable uh, fill, and there is, a, and and I don't have a set of plans with me, but I believe that site is fairly level. I don't know where they would use it if they dig it up all around the uh, chambers. Uh, where they're going to put the material? So I I I I recommended them removing it from the site. Yeah, I I had no issue with that. I, I I think in general, just simply get it out of there. But I think the the real issue is if it's anywhere within resource area or anywhere within groundwater recharge areas, we definitely don't want it there. But it's, but I had no issue with you saying get it out. That just get it out is the best way. Okay. And, and I, I support you. that. Okay. And I know I know I know Al would support it because I didn't even ask you Al because I know I know you don't want any farm material uh, on on site. Yeah, I wasn't going to do battle with Al. I I I recognize that. Yeah. So okay. So you you you. So you heard what I said, and and I'm getting backing from the, uh, and I'm sure Sean and Jack and, and Deborah in agreement with us. So just so you know, yes. and we had that question. Uh, this is so Jack. I is the is the bond the twenty thousand dollar bond sound reasonable to everyone? It does to uh, me, but not the neighbors. Well, it, it, don't when you look at the we, when you look at the real vulnerability here. The planning board has a big bond in place already, I imagine, and the resource areas is what we should be looking at. I think twenty thousand does that. I, I agree. I, I just I like to make this check with the commission on these larger projects, especially. Sure, uh, Lou. Lu Lou Napoli, the chairman. Um, I we, we, I talked to Amy, Amy at length, and I, I personally, I think the planning board didn't issue a large enough bond. Um, 
They did a forty thousand. Yeah, I'm they, back the, in. I'm back in. Guys, I pause. My my initial phone died. I'm on my second phone. Okay. Um, it, it's it's a it's a multi million dollar project, and uh, it has several impacts on the on 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 the, in the neighborhood. So that's that's kind of with us. We we can only bond on the conservation end of it, and it's it's for they're out of the buffer. They're out of the fifty. Um, there really isn't. I, I think that the bond is what we we have to protect is uh, sufficient. Yeah, I mean, really, the work they're doing is like restoration area for us and uh, buffer zone uh, enhancements, and really not much else. So I, that's why right. I think twenty thousand was was right. Yeah, the uh, the only issue they have is is uh, if there's ever a we have an easement that for that sewer pipe that runs all the way into it goes the trunk line goes into the wastewater treatment plant. But yep, it's part part on their property and it is in the buffer zone. But they're not they're not involved in, they're not involved in it being repaired. So if the town had to go in and repair it, they, they that, that would be an issue that we'd have to address with them. But uh, yeah, they're not tying into the, into the trunk directly. They're going back up into the uh, the high street sources. Which ties in, from what right. I remember. Right. I, okay. It it does it goes, goes that way. So it I think the like project it, comes back out. It doesn't tie directly to the trunk. They'd be crazy to tie into the trunk because it would basically render their apartments useless when the when the trunk overloads. Okay, so that, that is a big pipe console there, but so I'm, I rem, remember them putting it in. But that's okay. Like I said. The, the uh, our bond is sufficient for what, what they're doing with us, I think. My main concern was the uh, – I, I think it's fly ash. I don't think it's silky loam. I, I've never heard of that before, ever. So um, I would say it's fly ash. And I, I think once they start digging, they're going to find a lot of it. So um, yeah. that's, that's what I want to get that's out where the of whole, That's where the power plant all went. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's what we remember as kids. Yeah. yeah. Make make now now we're making that we're making my car look like a little kid. <laughs> um, okay. So that, that's so, a, a, um, I I walked through the order with um, David Gillespie just um, point 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 and he had a couple of questions and I want to relay them to you if that's okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, so, um, mission number 27 talks about uh, weekly inspections by the road control monitor and then weekly reports. Um, he was wondering if we could um, align with the planning board's decision that required weekly inspections but monthly reporting. Um, and if you guys were amenable to that, I would recommend that um, immediate reporting would be after a half inch rain. That last part broke up, but that's where I was going to go with some sort of threshold that they have to report with it with something out of the ordinary occurs. Are you saying a exactly. half inch rain event? Half inch or greater? Half inch or greater within a 24 hour period? Yeah. Okay, as long as we specify it that way, that's fine. So are we expecting a report regardless of what they find under that type of event or only if something out of the ordinary occurs under that event? No, if the event occurs, period. Period. Even if yeah. they even if they report that nothing happened. Exactly. Okay, that's that's fine. As long as as long as we get that after an event. That's that makes sense to me. Okay. It keeps it simple. Okay. All righty. Um, the other question is on condition number 30. Talks about getting an as-built foundation plan immediately um, before any other construction can go on site. Um, they're asking for a little wiggle room there, so perhaps within a certain amount of time after the foundation is 
in that they could get that as built to me so that they wouldn't have to necessarily stop activity on site to do that. So, um, Amy, I, I missed the beginning of that statement. Which condition number are you talking about? Uh, number 39. Foundation as built. Blue Napoli Chairman. I will be yep. told, I will, I will be totally opposed to that because of the uh, the stool easement that runs by the buildings. One is is the pool is right up against the easement, unless they moved it. And the other one is the the little building. I don't know what it is. It might be a maintenance building. It's within a, a couple of feet of, the, of of that sewer easement. So I I would think that we would want to make sure that the foundation is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I would agree with Lou. Is um, you know, this this concern on a house is pretty darn important. On a situation like, like this, it's even more important. I've um, I've seen strange things in my career, and I I've seen a uh, fifteen million dollar medical building surveyed by one particular engineer who used to appear before us, literally pinned the foundation. 90 feet out of location, which screwed up an adjacent lease. Um, so not by any construction error, but by a surveying error, those things happen. The sooner we know that, the better. And it should happen just as you've got written out. Okay. okay. All right. And then lastly, uh, number 46 speaks to uh, fuel storage and uh, refueling of equipment on site. It's not worded very well, I realize now. Um, but uh, in speaking with Lou, we don't want any large um, fuel storage tanks on site. But we could allow for fueling of equipment out is the buffer zone by way of a truck that you know comes yeah so Lou it's Joe the uh, yes small job like this nobody's going to have a on-site fuel depot it's all it's going to be overnight fueling with an on-road vehicle and um so that's why it's going to happen if, as long as we tell them it has to happen outside the buffer zone in a in a specific area that's reasonable okay in fact, but, uh, I, a pre construction uh, meeting, um, maybe an area could be identified. Well, yeah. we, we had, I, I, I'm very, uh, an advocate for that because uh, having operators fill up equipment, you know, run the equipment over to a tank and fill up, 90% of the time they spill. So, and, and, go, and go have a bid that if they ever hit one, we got, we got 500 gallons of diesel fuel sitting on the ground. Uh, that's why I'm not I'm not really crazy about a tank on site of any type. A truck, a, a guy coming with a truck and topping off the, the equipment gives him more than enough fuel for the course of a day each equipment. Uh, and the yeah. guy has to come twice. He does, but I mean, at least at least we know there's no open there's no open fuel tanks on the premises. Yeah, great. Well, yeah, I completely I, agree. Whether it's whether it's going to happen that way or not, it's better to just simply say, no way. On site storage and overroad delivery has to happen in a certain area. I, I agree. Okay, thank you. All right. That's all I had. Okay, and we're all, set on, we're, we're all set on the uh, the fly ash or, or the silted loom. <laughs> anyway, I, I am. You? Joe, Joe is okay. all set. Okay. Yeah, if it's encountered, it's removed from site. Yes. Yeah, okay. In buffer zone or infiltration areas? Yes. Okay. We were ready for any, motion? Any questions? Any most? Yeah, yeah. Is there any question? What questions, Jack? No, I'm good, Lou. Jack. Thank you. Uh, all right, Joe? Fine. Uh, Al? Uh, no, no, no questions. Just, um, just going back to that fuel thing real quick. Um, 
if there's any chance that that the uh, pre-construction meeting could identify uh, an acceptable fueling area, that might be good too, if it can be done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got. Yep. You got that, Amy? Right. I got that. Okay. All right. I'm good. Al, I'll set the. I'll set. Deb. No questions. Sean. No questions. Okay. So we're looking for a motion. So I move that we adopt the order conditions 242-1760 as amended. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that's unanimous. And uh, Lou, I think I missed one or two of the meetings, so I don't think I qualify for the vote. So let the record reflect that if that is the case. So yes. one, one, one abstention, yes. Yep. Great. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. We, that's all. That's oh, it. Amy, my delegate says we're done. Yeah. Most of the motion to adjourn. Yes, yeah, so moved. Second. <laughs> All those okay. in favor say aye. No, aye, no, aye. Look, aye. we're in a discussion. I, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, discussion. Oh, no, no, discussion on the motion to discussion. 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 I, don't have a, I have a question. So, what is business as usual right now in the Conservation Commission office? Are we getting, are we accepting new filings? Are, are folks going out on inspections? What's, what's going on, Amy? Uh, well, up until uh, Tuesday, uh, we were we're working remotely and going into the office as needed um, and making appointments with people uh, with the stay home order. We're we're working pretty much strictly remotely um, and getting people um, hold off on checks, especially, particularly if the bonds aren't paid um, and uh, asking applicants that would be submitting applications that require public hearings that they hold off. Um, but you know that's and and Governor Baker's uh, legislation may speak, speak to that further. Um, but so right now it's sort of you know very remote working. <laughs> Got it. Andy, so there's nobody. Saw, there's not nobody actually in in the office at this point, correct? There's no no one is in the building in the town hall until April yep. 6th. And, and as far as deadlines, whether it's for extension requests or otherwise, have, have those been continued through gubernatorial order? Um, or otherwise, town, town mandate, something? The, the, the legislation that Baker had submitted will speak to that. Um, yeah, that has, that has not happened yet, uh, Sean. The automatic extensions of, uh, on permits and deadlines and filings and grants and whatnot are all pending. The, the thought is that's all going to happen, but right now we're trying to deal administratively with what we have on our own docket. Um, so if an applicant has something they want to extend, at this point it just has to end up on a, a future agenda. But um, it's, it's something that's gonna probably take place within the next week or two. <clears throat> Yeah, I, uh, Got it. Governor, I don't know. I don't know what Baker did with the uh, rest of the stuff, but I, I know it extends the school uh, closings till May seventh or eighth, I believe. May yeah, fourth. Yes. Uh, they have it this afternoon. Yeah. 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 We're we're in uncharted water here. This is pretty treacherous. We're kind of all just sailing the best we can and trying to stay steady. And uh, so far, so good, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And Amy, yeah. thank you. You really, really did a good job pulling this together. Yes, well, she well, did. I have to. I have to get technologically savvy. So good practice. Me. <laughs> hey, you know, this okay. went this went incredibly smoothly for something that hasn't happened before. Yeah. I don't get any. Don't get any ideas. This is the things to come for all time in the future. I think this is a stopgap. We still need to uh, see I, our faces on TV. <laughs> I don't know, Joe. You have a, you have a face that's built for radio. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> but like Al says, we're the number one rated uh, town 
on that TV show. So right. keep, we don't want to lose that. We're yeah. still number one. All, all, all kidding aside, Amy, we're, we're all flying by the seat of our pants. This is this is a new new era in a new game that none of us have ever done, and you did a good job getting us here. Thank you yes. very much. Well, thank yes. you guys. Much appreciated. Sticking with me. All right, guys. It's, it's, it's Miller time. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. All right. Oh, hey, I'll, hey. We, we should all we should all meet up at the top of Half Mile Hill in half an hour with a six pack. Hey, um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Louis, and Louis, just, uh, just just from Louis, just well, for the record, we, we, we did we did find out the air flares to Florida were pretty cheap, so expect a bunch of visitors on Friday night. Yeah, there you go. Bring your we're renting a van. We're heading down. Bring your bathe room. I got I got a nice pool and cruise going. And it's going to be heated. So, you guys want a motion to adjourn? So yeah, moved. You got it. You got it. Everybody oh. moved. It. Yeah, we moved right. it and seconded. All right. Good night, all. Be safe. Uh, be uh, safe. Be uh, healthy. Take care. Let's see y'all. Good Thank job. Thank everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 That's it, right?